Hi there, fellow role players and game masters. My name is Mr. Tarask, and I have my own YouTube channel where I review Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition third party content like the stuff you see behind me. But the amazing people of the Shard Tabletop have asked me to kind of start functioning as the host of the Shard Tabletop YouTube channel, where I will be creating videos uh, with tutorials, tips, tricks, everything about Shard Tabletop. Without any further ado, let's get into it into it. Welcome to the first episode of a brand new tutorial series for Shard Tabletop and today I want to show you how to create a character, how to drop it into a campaign, how to uh, add your token, how to pick a race, start rolling dice and just sit down and play the freaking game because that is what Shard Tabletop is all about. It is sitting down and playing the game without any hassle, without any extra stuff. All you need to do is log into Shard Tabletop, click the uh, new character button right here. And this is immediately a very cool thing. It uh, gives you a character name immediately. By the way, my screen is right there. So I'll be looking right there when I'm uh, doing the Shard thing. Um, it gives you a random name. You can click random name again, Kolbus Hamidi, which is cool. Click OK. You can, of course, change your name at any time by clicking here and renaming it. And the cool thing about Shard, and this is why I, why I personally love Shard, Shard asks you the right questions at the right time. It starts off by pick a race. It's kind of this D&D Beyond type of thing where you um, immediately it asks you pick a race, right? So there's all these races and I, for example, have a ton of... Um, modules uh, from Shard. So uh, I have a lot of the race options. If you have the free Shard... Uh, account if you have a free subscription you actually have uh, access to these standard races from D, D and stuff so you have the dwarf you have the uh, the the elf you have the human uh but other than that you need other stuff in order to have that stuff it's just like in the books right but you can add all your own stuff in short so don't worry uh let's pick a race let's just here let's let's pick a red folk um select red folk there we are uh close Pick a background. It asks you, pick a background. What are we? We're going to be a, a thinker. A thinker, a red folk thinker. Red folk, by the way, is a cobalt press race who is a red person. Uh, that's why it's called red folk. It immediately asks you to pick a language. So we're going to pick a language. Let's say it, red folk speaks common, right? So let's say it also speaks um, dwarvish, which doesn't make any sense, but hey... Who cares, right? It's just for the sake of creating a character. Pick a class. I'm going to pick a wizard because I want to show you the spell casting and everything uh, a bit later on. Uh, let's, let's wizard. All the information is here. Everything is hyperlinked so you can get all the information, read about it. So you select this right here. Skill proficiency. It asks you because you select a wizard, it knows which skills you can be proficient in. Uh, let's pick history and arcana for the sake of just moving on. Oh, uh, I took close uh pick abilities you can pick your abilities i'm going to create a uh just for the sake of creating this character i'm going to create a character that has all negative physical stats and all positive mental stats so uh, min maxing to the bone right here starting equipment it even knows that a quarter staff or a dagger, a component park po <laughs> component pouch or an arcane focus a scholar spec or an explorer spec. It's amazing. You can be like, no, I want an arcane focus instead of a component pouch. I want an arcane focus. You have a spell book. It is linked, so you can click that. You can also pick the gold alternative, which is really cool. And you just click add. Um, pick wizard spells. This is cool. Level 1, it tells you you get 3 cantrips, 6 prepared spells. Uh, sorry, 6 spells known and uh, 4 prepared spells. So let's pick 3 cantrips. Um, I have a bunch of cantrips in here because I have the Cobalt Press books also on my account, so which means, yeah, which means there is a lot of uh, stuff uh, in here. Now, the cool thing is it only shows you what you can actually use. So it's not going to show you level 2 spells, level 3 spells just yet. It will show you the moment you, uh, you level up and you have access to them, which is like it's everything... 
It asks you the right questions at the right time. I know I'm, I'm repeating myself, but that's how I see it. Then there is this prep box. I really like this. Um, you can prepare four spells. So you have your spells known, but you also have your spells prepared, which you can select separately. Really small but cool feature right there. We're almost done. We have a red folk. Uh, let's name him since red folks uh, drop dead. Right, drop dead. Red folks always have like these names where they where there's kind of like puns or or to just mess with people. Uh, they al always have like a a real name, but then they have like an alias when a human asks them for their name. They're like drop dead, uh, which is funny which can be really funny uh upload a token i probably have a rat folk here somewhere yep i have a rat folk here somewhere boom there it is i can make it um it asks you where do you want your rat right um which is cool what where do you want your uh what border do you need like pick this border you can pick a background from all kinds of uh stuff uh it's a character token you can have keywords in there um you can upload a character token you can search character tokens from the web then you go save and it loads the image it needs to upload it of course and there you have it you have a level one character since we're here let's make this a level two if i go to uh click on my level and that's shard strength everything is where you expect it to be i just click on my level then i click on add a level i click on add wizard level 2 and it just oh you need to pick an arcane tradition it just says that you need to pick an arcane tradition okay sure let's pick an arcane tradition there's all kinds of arcane traditions in here right there's school of evocation necromancy blood magic uh, which is cobalt prize again clockwork uh, elementalist let's just pick an elementalist uh select there we are um Oh, you need to click Masteries for the Elementalist. I need to click two Masteries. Don't really know how the, how that works exactly, but um, it's just for the sake of creating this character again. Oh, and then it gets feature options. Air, Earth, Fire, Water. Let's pick Earth. Nobody ever picks Earth, right? So let's pick Earth. Um, close. Now we are a level 2 wizard that automatically updates your uh, hit points. It automatically updates everything, your hit dice. Uh, it automatically updates everything and if you need to select something or pick something it automatically asks you now we go back to the main screen and now drop that is here next to my other character shroom tune as you can see shroom tune is in a campaign called test campaign um, while drop that is not now normally if you want to go into a campaign the dungeon master has to invite you which is really easy to do they just send you a link you click that link log in select your character boom you're in it's like selecting a server on world of warcraft or whatever um, but right now it is my own campaign so I can select test campaign um, so I now put in a test campaign as soon as it's in a campaign when you go to the main um, the main page of shards you just click your character boom there you are there you are you dropped into the campaign now the dungeon master can choose to um, put drop that in the map and it automatically puts drop that somewhere on the map um, they can choose to have them invisible or visible wherever they want them to be uh let's make them visible so now drop that is right here for me as a player and it automatically sees that i have control over this token because i am this token so it automatically sees that and now as a player this is all you need to do this is all you need to start playing now i'm gonna i'm going to go a little bit further um First of all, you can move your token around and you can see how far you can go, right? This is a really cool but really small feature, but we all probably already know that when we're playing uh, Shard Tabletop. Now, if you want to get playing, it's as easy as selecting your dice down here to roll or you just go to your character sheet and let's say you want to make an unarmed strike as a wizard for some reason. You just click this one right here and it will automatically roll a die for you. I rolled a 17 plus 2 is a 19. Now, if I had... It asks you this question. Did you have disadvantage or advantage? It asks you this question at the moment when it needs to ask you this question. Oh, yeah, I had advantage. Boom, you click, um, you click it again. 
there it is, your score changes to nine, uh, 21. I even rolled higher. And it's the same with damage. So let's say this now um, hits. It was a quarter staff attack. Let's say it was a quarter staff attack that hit. I click 1d6, 1d6, 1d6 plus 2. Uh, this is a 6, but let's say this was 1. Um, and I, I, I have that feat or whatever where I can reroll once on a hit, on a, on a dice. So um, I just click this, click it again. And it re-rolls. <laughs> I rolled another six, but you that's a re-roll, right? The same thing is with um it asks you, was this a crit? Yes, this was a crit. Boom, you click the crit button and there it goes. It uh, becomes a six. Four becomes a six. Uh, because it is a crit and it's the same thing, and that's why I build a wizard. Like all your information is right here. Like shield, if you click that. Obviously, you're going to have the information for shield shield. Um but if you have like DK, for example, which is a two hits spell and a effect, right? You can click it to get the information. Since it is a two hit spell, you can click right here and roll. You automatically get like a, wow, I'm rolling really badass. I think the creators of uh, Shard have given me like the special weighted die pack. Which is not a thing, by the way. You cannot buy a special way to die pack unless you're me. I have that. Um, I only roll above 13 and higher, right? So this, let's say this is a hit. Um, you do this damage, necrotic damage. It sums that up, and it um, even if you cost this at a higher level, you decide to cost this at a higher level. It's all in there, and it's all hyperlinked. Let's say you cost it at 17th level. Um, boom. You, you, you get like 33 necrotic damage. Um, so it's all in here. It's all hyperlinked. So as a player, it's not more than just moving your character out uh, around, saying what you're going to do, and then just doing it. And for example, if you want to shoot a 5 foot uh, wide line in 30 foot long line of electricity or whatever, there's even this tool. I will get back to this in another video. Add spell token to tool. Uh, new spell token. It's uh, 5 foot... Uh, radius, uh, sorry, it's, it's 30 foot uh, radius, uh, 5 foot wide, and it's blue. I can just select, select this, right? And I get this thing where I can move this around. I can put it right here, right like this, so I can shoot this uh, thing. And it saves it. So um, if I ever need it again, I can just go here, and it will be right here. This is where it is. I can just select them right here. So as a player, that's all you need. You get damage, you add and de detract your damage. If you want to hit, roll hit dice, you can even take a freaking rest by clicking the freaking rest. And if you sh click short rest, it would automatically um, do what it needs to do. Uh, do short rest right here. Do short rest. Uh, and it will automatically reset anything that resets on a short rest. Like, for example, a fighter has her second win and everything uh, reset on a short rest. So everything is where you expect it to be as a player. So all you need to do is create a character from scratch. If your race or your class or whatever you want to play is not in there, don't worry. You can edit everything in shard tabletop like it's nothing if you have any questions make sure to comment below otherwise i'll see you in the next video